try. Fresh off their history-making Olympic gold medals, there's more good news for the Aussie women's sevens team. They'll be centre stage once again, this time at the Sydney Sevens, where the Women's World Series will merge with the men's in a three-day rugby extravaganza. Being a world champions, gold medalist, to be able to play uh, in, a, in a legitimate tournament um, in Sydney, one of the greatest venues, greatest cities in the world, is just so exciting. I think it's just it's brilliant, and the girls will just thrive on it. Not only Australian girls, but the rest of the, the rest of the world. And after capturing the attention of the whole world in Rio, the girls are excited to showcase their skills in front of familiar faces. To now have a home um, home tournament is just so exciting for us. Um, we haven't had the opportunity to play in Australia a whole tournament yet to showcase what we've got um, over the you know full two days. Um, and so it'll be awesome to come here um, in front of our family and friends. And uh, the men's tournament last year, um, just being here and being a part of that, just playing Ireland in that was absolutely awesome for us. And we got great exposure from that. So this is only going to help um, grow the game in the future. Present seven superstar Charlotte Kaslik also can't wait to run out at Allianz Stadium. I'm so excited. There's nothing like playing in front of um, a home crowd, and I we got to play a couple of games, but I was in the crowd last or this season here, and it was I reckon it was the best crowd that I've ever seen in Australian rugby um, for the boys this year. So I'm so excited to be a part of it. Kaslik with some advice for the Wallabies ahead of this weekend. Quick to return the compliment to fly half Quade Cooper after he rated her the best sevens player in the world. I'm sure they all know what to do. They've just got to go out there and, uh, and play without fear. And um, I'm excited to see what Quaid can offer. And he's one of the best footballers going around, so I'm sure he'll bring a lot to the table. The Sydney Sevens kicks off in February with tickets going on sale in October.